Why don't you put your hands together with us as we just worship and love on Jesus. Yeah, come on. Oh, 
Keep singing that out. Keep singing. So no longer Give him worship. Just love on him. This morning we have a new song to introduce to you. And it's just all along these lines of reminding us who we really are in him. The work is finished. You have the mind of Christ. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. So this morning's about who he is defines who I am. So why don't you sing this with us?
him a hand right now. Let's just thank him. Before we move on to the next song, this, uh, this new song really uh, speaks, there's, there's four New Testament laws, there's four new covenant laws in the scripture that are revealed to us. And this song deals with two of them. And I just feel like it, it's appropriate to address them. The first one is out of um, Romans chapter eight, where it says, you know, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit has set you free from the law of sin and death. The law of the spirit, this is a, this is a new covenant law. And what it means is this, that in the new covenant, it is illegal for a Christian to live under condemnation. So that means that the enemy has no legal precedent to condemn you, no matter what you've done. It doesn't even matter if you did it just five minutes ago. The enemy has no legal, no legal uh, 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 confidence. He has, he, has no, he has no precedent to condemn you. And so many Christians live under condemnation and they don't have to because it's illegal for them to live there. Like the enemy can't legally condemn you. And here's the thing, is the enemy depends on law. He depends on the law and the law is against him. No Christian can live condemned. Are you hearing me? If you're in Christ Jesus, if you've chosen to be in covenant with Christ, you can't be condemned. Secondly, the, the next one there says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In the book of James, uh, we're admonished to live therefore like those under the law of liberty. The law of liberty is connected to this scripture, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Two words, so whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Two different words. The first one man, means like released from a trap. Whom the Son sets free, is free indeed. That second word means free born. So in the context of the writer's mindset is that either you were free born or you were born into slavery. This is why those who are Christians are born again. Because we're born into freedom. We're free born. The law of liberty states this, that it is illegal for a Christian to live in slavery. The enemy has been saying to different people over and over again, you are a slave to this and you will remain a slave to this. And I've got great news for you. There's no legal precedent in heaven for you to be slavery in slavery to anything. As believers, we have so much authority that we can only be enslaved to that which we allow ourselves to be enslaved to. That's how much authority you have. And I feel like in my heart, there are people here this morning who, are, who have been feeling under condemnation, who have been feeling like they're gonna be enslaved and they're gonna be enslaved forever. Listen, I've got great news for you today. Whom the sun sets free is freeborn. It is, it is. Heaven, heaven will not break its own laws. Heaven will not condemn you because it legally can't. Heaven will not allow you to remain enslaved because legally it can't. Heaven is required to set free those who choose to walk with Christ. Oh, this is such good news. This is such good news. If you have been, now listen to me, without being afraid or ashamed, if you've been fighting through condemnation or feeling enslaved to, 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 to whatever form of sin it might be. I want you to, you're not gonna, no, no, you're not gonna have to yell out anything or whatever, but I want you to step into the aisles and I want you to raise both hands so that we can pray together because we're gonna see this broken in Jesus' name. So if that's you, just step into the aisles. Don't be afraid or ashamed. I don't, uh, nobody's gonna judge you. Do it quickly, step into the aisles quickly so that we can pray over you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Step right up and put both hands in the air. Don't be afraid or ashamed. Look for people with their hands in the air. If you see anybody with their hands in the air, go find them, go find them. Turn around, church family, go find people with their hands in the air and lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. If you put both hands in the air. If you need people to pray for you, I, I wanna see, make sure, I don't want anybody to stand alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you 
that we are so free that we had to be called free indeed. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is no form of sin that can hold us enslaved to anything. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I break and cancel the assignment of slavery on your people. And I command it to be broken in Jesus' name. Father, we break and cancel every assignment of condemnation. Lord, we repent. We repent for being deceived into sin. We repent for being deceived into condemnation. And now in Jesus' name, we stand in the gap together over our friends and we command every life broken, every stronghold broken, every mindset broken that's robbed your people of the freedom that is their legal right. In Jesus' name, we pray now, God, that you would come. Father, I speak to every demonic force that would hold your people down and we command you to let go now in Jesus' name. Now in Jesus' name. Every stronghold and lie to be broken now in Jesus' name. And Father, now, the power of your Holy Spirit, we command every demonic uh, attachment to that to go now straight to the feet of Jesus and never return. And God, now we invite Holy Spirit to come. Come and fill every empty spot. Those of you with your hands up, invite Him to fill you. Just say, come and fill me, Holy Spirit. More of you, Holy Spirit. Invite Him to fill you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, folks, when you gathered around, if you pray in other tongues, I want you to go ahead and do that. If you don't pray in other tongues, then just pray whatever the Holy Spirit puts on you to pray. But bathe these people in prayer. So pray in other tongues over them. On your market said, go. Go, go, pray hard. Pray over them. Just pray in other tongues. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Oh, we worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Now, I want to take... Uh, Father, we just seal this in your blood. Holy Spirit, come. And in Jesus' name, we seal this in your blood over each person. And we declare you are free. We declare there is no condemnation for you. And you have every legal right, legal right, to in the moment when those lies come your way, to stand firm in who you are as a son or a daughter of the Most High. That's good news right there. Come on, somebody lift up your voices. Now, just stay together. Don't, don't quite go yet. Just stay together. Stay close together just for a minute. Um, I want us to worship a little bit. And, and so maybe just go to the next tune if that's okay. Uh, do whatever you want. You're in church. But... but Sorry, you know what I mean, Jim. Um, but here's, oftentimes, you know, after we pray for things, uh, especially like this, when we literally do kind of corporate deliverance, um, but after we pray for things, often I'll tell you, I say, okay, let's worship some more. And, and I've never really told you why. Uh, Psalm 114 says this, when Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people uh, of a strange language, Judah became his sanctuary. Judah means praise. And so when you come out of, of, of slavery, when you come out of an Egypt, the best thing you can do is find sanctuary in praise. And just spend some time just in praise and worship. So as we do that, for those of you who were prayed for especially, but for all of us, let's find our sanctuary in praise. Let's just lean into his presence and enjoy his presence and worship together. Go ahead, team. <laughs> 